Hi everybody, this is Milky with another first impression video. The game we're trying today is Zig Survival. Zig Survival, as its game suggested, it's a survival and crafting game. And it was just released on Steam this month on June 18th, and apparently it also has a free mobile version. So if you're looking into simulation games that you can play on the go, this might be the one. We'll be playing as a survivor of a plane crash and become a zombie hunter in this dangerous and zombie infested world. So Sounds interesting? Then let's try it out together! We first need to start a new play file. I already played it a little bit and let's choose the standard mode because I heard it's a more beginner friendly. Oh, looks like we're in a plane and uh, we want to find out why did we end up here. And now we can interact things. If you read this, I'm probably not survived. They're somehow sneak up on board. I'm gonna try to isolate them in front of the plane, but it looks like we're done. Pilots are not answering calls. Probably they're... Probably they're got there. Hmm, I wonder what got there. So we need to break these things out. And it seems like we can crush this using our, using our weapon. So where is everybody? And there we go, bunch of zombies. So let me try to kill them. Ooh, they look scary, isn't it? So the controls actually is a little bit weird in game. I tried it for a while and uh, I didn't like it much. It, it, it potentially is because um, this game is adapted uh, from a mobile game. So I wasn't the biggest fan of the game's control, but maybe we can look more into the mechanics and the content. There's one thing about playing indie games and do first impression. I always want to give this game a fair chance before I can say whether I like them or not. Seems somebody needs our help. Hello? Injured scientist, anyone help? Who is there? What happened? And uh, are you okay? <laughs> and the hint says you speak with the crippled body in blood. I'm sorry, I probably shouldn't ask her, are you okay? I'm a scientist and I need an emergency help. Cough with blood. <laughs> uh, there should be a med pack somewhere around. Harry, please. Sure, I will search for it, buddy. So our first quest is find a med pad. Oh, let's take all and I think I found it. But I decided to loot everything instead of getting back to him as soon as possible. We're a little bit horrible on us. Oh, and uh, seems like we should be able to uh, equip some weapons with this. Oh wow, there's so many loots everywhere. Take oh, oh, the scientist is crying. How about this? Let's help him first. Do you find the map pad? Yes. Thank you. You saved my life. Okay, let's use it on him. Oh, we got some new level up and received some HP. Oh, seems like the injured person wants more things. So what's happened? Why are there so many metrics around here? Our squad was sent to get some from nearby hangar because our scientist felt weak after sleeping on cold floor. So then happened the explosion. Someone had attacked us. Also, oh, all the metrics are because they feel the floor is too cold. Gosh. Huh, then attacked it, you said. I wonder if you accidentally saw who attacked us. I remember this very poorly. Nope, I didn't. Was just passing by, then found you. Uh, and there's a hint. Don't need to tell him the truth. I love this little hint. Alright. Yeah, alright. You know, it's getting cold there and my spine feels so broken. Could you make some campfire? There should be some wood around here. Okay, I will try. Seems like my our next task is to make some campfire. Poor guy, but I don't think this campfire is gonna, well, fix his spine or anything, but anything make to make you feel better. Um, oh, sorry, using the wrong weapon. I thought maybe if we use, if we, if we use the first one, which is just a wooden stick, we should be able to do it, but seems not. Okay, that might be enough wood for now. Yeah, the control is a little, little bit awkward, but that's okay. Slowly getting used to it. Hello, are you okay, guy? Oh, there seems to be something here. Oh, okay, so we can try the lock pick. So the first thing we need to do is toss the hinge. And stop. Oh, we failed at the lock pick. Guess I didn't have a talent on that. 
that's okay. That's okay. Um, then let's try to make a campfire. How do we... Maybe in the build menu. Oh, there we go. We can have a campfire. And then I'm guessing we can just drag it around. Oh, I see. And uh, right here looks good. Right next to him. I wonder if it will accidentally burn him. Are you okay? Is this campfire too close to you? Hmm, the science turns to you. I remember you said something about a group of scientists. Where can I find them? Scientists now, well, uh, oh, I missed his uh, conversation. Eh, that's all right. Here's your re revolver. You will need it more than I. Thanks and good luck. Well, at least we received a revolver. So it looks like it is the scientist bunker somewhere around here. Better to find it. And it's marked on the map. Okay. How do we open the map? It's a question. But the first thing I would like to do is equip our gun. Very, very important. Then also we can see the map. I see the bunker is uh, right around there. It's kind of different than the first time where the bunker was. I'm surprised. Okay, instead of uh, holding a gun every day, I, I think I would rather be a, peace, a little bit peaceful and uh, stay with a uh, stick. Oh, we can also pick up flowers, mushrooms, berries. Oh, and here are the zombies. Let's see if we can kill the zombies with just plain stick. Oh, wow. Okay, the weak zombies doesn't seem that bad. We can kill it by just using the stick. Let's try our revolver. Ooh, so helpful. That's amazing. I love the revolver. Got some zombie meat on the way. Is it gonna be like Embark where um, where we could eat the zombie meat? That will be kind of gross. Probably go, we'll get a stomach by doing that. Oh, look at this. This seems to be the scientist bunker. How about before we go, we probably want to loot things. Nah. We can load it, look things later. Hello, stranger. You're the one we're looking for. You hear noise around the speaker. Hello, can I enter? Okay, so we were allowed to enter. Oh, look at this bunker. They have some microwave, fridge. They have everything and a computer screen. And seems like a PS4. Is that PS4? Hi. Hey, so you're the one we were looking for. You heard the noises sound from the speaker. Hello, me? Wait, who are you people? We're scientists. Sounds very strange, but okay. At this moment, we experience lack of raw data for our research. Could you bring five parts of zombie meat? <laughs> oh, we can choose the option of then. Why can't you deal with it without me? Oh, we're so mean, but I'm gonna do it. Looks like something has attacked our scout squad. So there are no answering our radio calls. That's why we need your help. Um, okay, I can help. We can help with that. I already got two zombie meat our, on our, my way here. Only trusted people could enter the labs. Remind me, who are you? I have no time for you. Huh, the guards here are so mean. Hi, you look like a merchant. <laughs> oh, oh, I love this. This squad looks very suspicious. Why? We're so mean to him. Hey, who are you? Ivan the traitor. Trader? Oh, <laughs> reminds me of that meme. He's gonna say, Do you have goods if I have money? He shows you the list of available purchase. So we can get empty bottle for 10 wood, canned food for 20 coal, and the recipe of picklock for 20 raw fishes. Nice! I would like a recipe of picklock so we can Go around and making pig logs. Let's see what other things are here. Hi there. You're not supposed to be here. Careful with the stuff around here. Is this a real zombie there? Yes, and everything's under control. <gasps> this is the zombie. Is everything under control? It looks... Doesn't seem so. Let's look at what's inside. Oh, there's some weird green juice under the bed. Must be a zombie bed. Hey, Aid. Hey, what is this place? Oh, we're resurrecting our dead friends. Seems like, um. So when we when I tried it, if I died, I come back to this bunker, right there. So I guess the first thing we need to do is go out and collect some zombie meat for my science friends. 
and、uh, maybe we can set up our own little base around here. Before that, let's see if there's any loot. Oh, there is. Nice. Take all. We got some empty bottle, rotten food. Kind of wanna see. Let's <laughs> let's try consume this rotten food. Not sure if it's good to eat that. Consume. Oh no, we're more hungry and more thirsty. That's why. Now I use my personal experience to tell you, don't ever eat that rotten food. And there's some canned food. Okay, not bad at all. Cox, a handy resource for crafting. That's pretty good. Hi, peaceful zombie. Look at this zombie. He's so peaceful. He's just, he's just hanging around, looking at waters. If that's water. And I、uh, came here and took his meat. Maybe we're the bad guys. Maybe zombies are just a peaceful, friendly creature that just want to be happy. So we can do left and right to lockpick. Oh, but I don't have available lockpick. It's okay. We'll we'll find more one day. So what else could we do? Let's see. Let's see if we can build a crafting table here. Build. Um,、uh, the only thing we can build is a campfire. Maybe craft. Oh, I would like a an axe. Or wood pickaxe, so we need a little bit more wood than we should be able to get it. Sure. Oh, also we have a. Let's see what are the other tabs. We can learn things. Let's see what would we like to learn. I would like to learn how to make a crafting table. Oh, that's it. That's all we need to do in order to learn it. There we go. Just need more wood and more stone. Okay, that we can do. I was on my way to collect some resources and finding more zombies, and we entered this weird-looking house. I wonder what is this? What is this place? Oh, whatever it is, seems like we can loot things. Boots bottle. This bottle is not for everyone, huh? I I guess this is、uh, something very very important for us. And there seems like there's more loot around here. Oh, nice. Um, wonder could we drink the boots? Nah, probably very important item for other things. Is there nothing in this building anymore? Oh, it's crazy how there's a matrix on top of the building. Can we enter this、uh, door, please? Nah. Okay, that's okay. But I like this place. This looks like a nice place for us to set us set up our base. Oh wow! There's a night time in this in this、uh, dark dark world, and it actually feels pretty pretty scary. I spent some time to create a pickaxe, so we can actually starting to starting to make crafting table. But before that, I think we need a campfire. Otherwise, I feel really really scared. Um, I'm not sure whether we should base around here. I actually want to base around somewhere that I can collect wood. Oh, the night is so dark, and I feel actually a little bit scary. Where are all these places? Oh, got some mushrooms on our way, and here's a tree. Here's a tree we can get. Oh, wow! The music is getting really, really scary. I almost feel like I, I will be attacked by zombie at any moment. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, that was scary. What is this? I see. That's why there's music. This is our sound. We're getting attacked by some wolves. Oh, oh, oh! They're not dead. They're not dead. Ah,、oh, they're so scary. It's almost like playing Deserted Sky when there's seekers. Okay, I I probably need to set up a campfire around here, so we don't so we don't get randomly attacked. Let's build a campfire right around here. Okay, that's good. I feel so 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 much better with that campfire. Otherwise, I'll be really scared. Oh, and here's some zombie meat right here. Guess I accidentally killed some some zombie around here. Well, I don't want to get too far away from the zombie, but I don't see. Those, doesn't seem like there's a way to kill this tree. Um, maybe we just didn't hit it hard enough. Nah. 
guess that's it. Well, let's see. I guess I have to go into the dark and just be careful with this. Oh, it's so scary at night. When will the day come? I heard something. Okay. The fight begins. Let's see. What's coming? What's coming? Whoa, so many zombies. Okay, killed one weak zombie and another one. Oh. Almost a little bit too scary. And let's continue crafting. It's interesting how the characters doesn't sleep at night here. Okay, zombies coming, but... Let me try to beat them without using my... My revolver. Because I want to save some... Save some bullets. Okay, seems like we're good. The weak zombies are not... They, they can't hurt us too much. I just got a bunch of zombie meat. Ooh, one of them attacked us. Oh, no! Please! Let me go. I just come here to collect some wood. I, I don't want I don't want a mean business. Oh oh oh. Well I didn't mean to shoot your friends. <laughs> oh there's so many zombies at night. That's so scary. Okay, we got it. We got that. I think that's definitely enough zombie meat for us then. That's so amazing. Let me see if I can go to the bunkers and tell them that I finished finished collecting whatever they want. Oh, no, not this sound. That's a zombie is coming sound. Ah! Oh, no, no. Please don't attack me. All I want was just going to the bunker. Bunker! Uh, where's our bunker? I'm so scared. Okay, okay, I found it. Let's go, let's go. Let's go instead of fighting all these crazy scary zombies. Oh, that was scary. No wonder you guys never go out. Hello again. Uh, remind me who are you? Oh, we're so mean. Yes, you're a scientist. Uh, stop. Have you already got the zombie meat we asked for? Yes, here. Oh, thanks, Darwin. You did that. You did this trivial task and now we can return to our important mission. <gasps> the scientists in this game are so mean. Hey, but what about some reward? Yes, reward? Is it not enough for you that you take part in saving the humanity? Oh, okay. Here's your reward. Nice, we got some level up and some mad pad. Okay, that's pretty good, pretty important. And uh, seems like we're kind of hungry, so I will take one canned food. Oh, it not only increased our hunger, also give us more blood, well, better health, and we're less thirsty. So here we are face to face. You have been given a great honor to enter our bunker and we have a new task for you. Okay. Oh, what's the new task? Roasted zombie meat. Oh gosh, this game is thinking exactly like me. I played too much survival game. I'm horrible though. Why we, why such sarcasm? Sarcasm? No, it's not an important task. We got data that some plane crashed nearby. Really? We're from that plane. And one of the famous bio biologist was there we need his documents probably his research could help us you want me to what search for some paper in a f pile of crashed plane sounds like an interesting task not some paper the documents very important document could you help us okay i'll go find that so, those documents then maybe um, maybe we can trade for Pick lock for 10 zombie meat. Hey, you don't have that much. It's a pity. Um, huh, I wonder how much zombie meat we got. Seven zombie meat. Oh well, oh well then. Let's go get them that document. Oh, finally some light outside. It's so scary. I'm so glad that we get that sorted out. And uh, let's see if we have enough to build... A crafting table. Yes, we do. Okay, I want to build it maybe right next to the bunker. Yeah, this this, this seems nice. This seems like a nice place. How, how about let's get some water view. Yeah, I love this. Then let's build a crafting table for ourselves. Jiang Jiang. Oh, we did it. What can we do with the crafting table? Oh, I guess all we can do is just conveniently enter this place. Uh, enter this crafting menu. 
No, that's useless. Okay, then I guess we can try to learn other things. I can't wait for us to have a pet. And we can call pet out. That would be so, so, so cool. And we can change clothes. That's cool. Maybe we should get a wooden sword. Or let's see, clothes. Candle hat. That looks cool. <laughs> you know what? I really, really want a candle hat. But a water collector is probably also very important. And the Grandma West. I I want a candle hat. That sound that just sounds too amazing to pass by. Oh, here we go. So we need some clothes we, which we have, then we need some rope and the charcoal. Okay. Well, I we don't have a place to get the charcoal yet, so guess we have to pass on that. I feel so sad I can't get my my little candle hat. Maybe at least we can have a water collector. Use it to collect water in bottle while at raining weather. Seems like a perfect time for now. A water collector. We will need more planks and more clothes. Gosh, could we build anything? Um, guess we just have to finish the quest and go check out that that document that's so important for them. So let's take out our map. Seems like it's just right here. That looks like a document to me. On top of, can we on, on top of this building, maybe? I searched through our Planecraft site, and it uh, seems like well, I wasn't able to find any document. So my guess is we will need to learn how to lockpick, so we can lockpick that place to get the document. But before that, I did learn how to build a cat. So let's make ourselves a cat. And oh, look at that! We got ourselves a cat. It's very broken looking, but that looks pretty cool. I love it. And then the next thing we need to do probably is collect some. I don't know. Maybe perfect our crafting station. We can get a lot of things like building clothes, learning, having a small chest, and just build our station up. That sounds amazing. So I went around and collecting the collected a bunch of weird resources bl like blue flowers and the only description is strange one. Let's let's test it out whether we can eat it. Oh actually we finally eat something that's okay. Well if you're looking and uh, I would definitely not recommend you to do it in real life but let's try this strange mushroom too. Oh no <laughs> it nearly killed us. Okay. I gotta drink something and then using med pack pad to recover our health and some mushroom. Okay, so seems like normal mushrooms are okay and it does help. And we can eat some carrots and, uh, and berries. Okay, to recover. Oh gosh, that, that strange mushroom is dangerous. We, we need to be careful next time. So it seems like these normal mushrooms are okay. And uh, I need to create uh, water collectors as soon as possible. So before that, we need to create a plank. We got that. Then we need iron. I wonder where can I find iron? Let's see. There's anything we can collect for making iron. Water purifier. Garden bed simple and the campfire with pot. Then we can cook on the campfire. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, we will need a furnace. So all we need to do is actually just some experience. Insufficient resources. Oh, we're not level up enough. But seems like once we're leveled up enough, we should be able to do it. So all we need to do is, I guess, learning more things. Wow, I was just going around the town collecting resources, then suddenly this zombie boss showed up. Well, I'm not sure whether it's the zombie boss. Well, they call them zombie the fatty. Oh no, but we're out of a, out of shotgun. So I'm guessing I could maybe use my normal weapon to attack him. Oh, that works. Come, come zombie the fatty, we can kill you. Oh, okay. 
Oh, and we just get extra zombie meat. Too bad we don't get special things out of killing the zombie. So far, I've been trying to collecting resources and to build more stuff. I feel like the game definitely shows potential of uh, offering a lot of things, but I've been, been feeling a little bit tedious of uh, keep resource gathering and uh, repetitively killing killing zombies. Like I can understand that uh, you can we can argue that resource collecting is very important for almost all survival game, but so far the game has just been crazy amount of resource gathering and not enough of uh, stuff happening. Oh, but we did found this uh, little little weird place. What's this? Seems like we can oh we can get up the bus. And uh, mm, can we take this? No. Hi, how are you? Jack. Hey man. We see some old and obviously drunk men. Oh gosh. Hey there, who are you? My name is Jack. Jack is my name is. Oh, <laughs> seems like Jack is really, really drunk. Okay, do you need some help? Actually, yes, I got some important task for you. Listen, I need some special boots. Yes, the boots. Try to check the bar the bars around. Easy, because we already got it. Bring the boots to Jack. Hey man, did you find my boots? Here. Wow, that's it. I've been, that's what I've been asking for and it really pleased me. Here, take this as the fee. Oh, we got a bunch of experience. And we got some swords, seems like it. Let's take a look. Cantana. Oh, that's amazing. I, I would love a Cantana. Um, but I remember he gave us other things too. Maybe I was just wrong. Hello, my friend. Oh, we're his friend now because we give him food. Could I help with you with anything? I see I can trust you. There's one problem. Somehow one zombie have found a way to get inside my house and I'm scared to deal with it. Could you help me with that? Sure, easy. Great. Use the entrance on the roof. Jack asked me to kill the zombie inside of his house. Okay, maybe let's go take a look. Could we use this to cook? Nah, seems like we can't interact with with, with uh, his campfire. But could we put stuff in it? No. Okay, so let's go inside the place and uh, maybe try to kill this zombie. Oh no, faster the zombie. This zombie is kind of scary. And we need to attack him close range. Oh no, our house. No, 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 wrong. Oh, fast as a zombie is really, really scary. And we got a little tip for do not eat rotten food. Good tip, good tip. Probably do not eat strange mushroom too. But that's okay. Uh, we should go back and kill that fast zombie. Then probably we can get more things. But this katana is cool. I love my katana. Look at that. Pretty amazing. And we're back at Jack's place with another try. See if we can get this, get, get this fast zombie. Luckily, the fast zombie seems like it doesn't, it doesn't recover. So last time we almost already got it. And here we go, we got it. So we could lock pick this. Try to fix it. This, let's try to lock pick this time. Stop the bar on the line of the clock. Oh, I think we got it. Oh, that was a little bit scary and uh, I guess easier than I thought. Oh wow, their speed is actually a little bit different. So we have to be careful with that. <gasps> Jiang Jiang, my first lockpick. And we got some canned food, some bandage and a water bottle. That's amazing. I love that. There seems to be some shiny things under here, but I couldn't get it out. Um. And it seems like we can want to try a lockpick again. Yeah, I think I'm actually hooked on this. I love this little lock lockpick mini game. Makes me makes me feel sneaky, like I'm a master thief. Oh, we got it. More more stuff. Okay, that's pretty pretty amazing. And let's see what I can eat. Maybe we could consume some carrots since I'm really, really hungry. 
then I think that's all of it. Let's uh, report back to Jack. Hi, Jack. Hey, are you done with my problem? Yes, I killed that zombie. Great, take that. Oh, wow. Jack gave us some new stuff. Let's take a look. What did Jack it gave us? Saw off. Ooh, that looks like a cool item. Let's give it a try. Oh, we don't want the carrot seed. Oh, seems like since we have the carrot seed, we probably also have a farming elements in this game. That could be pretty cool. I feel like I haven't explored a lot of the mechanics of this game. And so far I've been just busy with resource management. Well, resource gathering. Hopefully. Hopefully later we can focus more on the actual gameplay instead of just running around with a bunch of resource gap resource gathering. Then oh I love this flamingo. Hello! Can I talk to the flamingo? And uh, also, why doesn't this zombie girl move? Oh, 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 I guess it's not because she... Wow, that was a powerful item. It wasn't because she doesn't move. She was just a, a peaceful zombie girl. That's it. Well, I think that's it for today's episode. Thanks a lot for the developer to give me the key to try this game out. Um, but I have to say, so far, I feel like the control was a little bit weird and uh, I have to spend a lot of time resource gathering. Oh, and this zombie is trying to kill me. <laughs> oh, that's the zombie telling me, Milky, no, don't you talk bad stuff of the, about the game? Well, I do think the game promises a different crafting system, interesting crafting system with pets, clothes, and we can even change how our character looks and farming system. Um, but so far, I'm not the biggest fan of the game, especially when it come, when it, it's compared to other similar games like in Buck. It could be just me not playing enough of the game. Please let me know what do you think about the game. Do you like it? Do you want to see more gameplay video about it? Um, I still hope you enjoyed this gameplay video. If you do, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I try and share indie games on my channel regularly. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.